back to the second hour of Nightline. I cannot believe the first hour is already coming on. I'm Gwen Hall, your host, and we are so glad you've joined us tonight for Nightline. And I'm over here with this wonderful family, the Emery's. And I'm going to let this young lady just introduce everybody tonight. Can we do that? Yes. All right. Well, I'm Elizabeth Emery. I am one of the triplets. We are 23 years old. That is Abigail on the bass and Judah on the drums. And then I have a 19-year-old sister, Hannah. She is on the fiddle. And then Mariah, which is 15, on the guitar. And Mama. And Mama. <laughs> I didn't see you over there. And my mama over there. And when Mama was just young, she used to come to my house right. and play on my keyboard. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Me and her and Julie, we'd get yes. together Fun and she'd house. play. You've got a beautiful touch, Mama, oh, on that piano. Thank you. I'm loving I've this tonight. I've always admired your playing and tried to sound like you. Oh, <laughs> listen, this is just the beginning. Y'all got to come back. You know that, don't you? Oh, yeah. You've got we another whole to. invitation. I'm going to turn them loose and let them sing some more tonight. And what's the song you're going to sing? Uh, oh. The Old Crossroads. Okay. All right, let's make them welcome, the Emery's. Oh, my brother, take this warning. Don't let old Satan roll your hand. You'll be lost in sin.
All the Emery's. I know you've enjoyed them tonight. I would love to hear some good praise reports. We're in our last hour right now. I can't believe how the time has already come and gone past the first hour. So now you need to pick up your phone. We got requests to get in and pray over. Wait, I see you've got something down there. I believe there's a blue piece of paper. Yes, we've got a lady rededicated her life well, mm, to the Lord is. tonight. Amen, amen. Amen. And uh, really enjoying the singing tonight. And uh, here's one, a praise report. You like those, Gwen? I do love praise uh, reports. A person uh, called in. They've been going through kidney stones. They're gone. Amen. Amen. Oh, praise amen. God for that. I've had them. You know, have. Oh, yeah. oh, you know. <laughs> thank God they're gone. That's all amen. I can say. <laughs> She's had them too. That's terrible. What? You're in the last hour, so the numbers are on your screen. Let us hear from you. A good praise report. <clears throat> if you've got a prayer request, <clears throat> we're enjoying the Emory's tonight. I'm telling you, they'll be coming back with us. Randy, Jamie, we talked about camps, but what is your vision this year for camp? Well, our vision overall, Gwen Wade, has always been to reach souls for Christ. Right. And, you know, y'all think about, uh, listen to that music being sung. People go to concerts. People watch music on TV. Mm -hmm. And people are watching probably NBA play tonight, college football in the fall, whatever. On a given Sunday, Crossfire, Ren and I know that a lot of Americans are not in church. There are no traffic jams like Monday through Friday. Mm -hmm. So we know that people are in church. So let's go where the people are. Our vision has not changed, Gwen. We want to use sports, basketball camps, to play games, to do instruction, to bring people out to hear the gospel because they love sports. Right. So if I'm lost, meaning I don't know Christ yet, I've not been redeemed, I'm going to live a lost life. That's mm -hmm. what I would do. So we've got to create an environment, a platform, an opportunity to draw them to a camp, to draw them to a game that they can hear the good news of Jesus Christ. So and you know what? I can't think of any better place for young people to go in the summer. I mean, a lot of churches do, Wade, have Bible school That's right. right right after school's out normally in that first mm -hmm. week. But you think about your young people. It's the kind of seed you want to plant inside of them, you know? Yeah. Think about that tonight. All kind of things are out there, all kind of opportunities. And this is just me personally. I just feel like sometimes young people don't need their cell phones. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I ain't going to zip it up neither. I'm just <laughs> going to tell you like it is. Yeah. But things like this, Wade, this camp, That's these it. opportunities, if it's just daytime or overnight like we sent John, that's, that's making an investment in that child's life. It's making an investment and such an impact. And if I'm not mistaken, I'd like to say this. Over the years that y'all have had the camps, you've actually got people now that went through your camp years ago that are active, actively involved. Exactly. So therefore, exactly. that seed you planted is coming back to fruition and helping others. It is, and we're blessed. We'll be at the mall. We'll be at a restaurant, maybe going through the Asheville Airport. And Jamie and I laugh about this. This young man comes up. He's probably 32 now. He said, I came to camp when I was 10, Coach. I gave my life to Jesus. Do you remember me? Jamie says, well, you didn't have a beard then. Just kidding. <laughs> but uh, we tell them we remember them because we do vaguely. But we remember some of them. We're not lying to them. But they want to feel apart. Well. And we're blessed that they remember and they'll talk about things they heard during the share time and yeah. do a lot of them say, hey, I made a decision for Christ that week. I had a, several that told me they had become pastors now. So we're just wow. blessed and honored that your people, young, your parents, your young people in Western North Carolina, yeah. we've also had kids come from about 15 different states, a couple foreign countries, that you send them to camp, you entrust us with them, and we just bring them the Word of God. Yeah and the Lord Jesus Christ that draws and changes lives. If they already know the Lord, we want to disciple them yeah. and help them grow in their walk with the Lord. A coach will share, different coach every week, and most of the coaches that are sharing are ordained ministers that are bringing messages down on their level yeah. that they can understand. And then a lot of those campers stay in touch with some of the coaches over the years. Mm -hmm. So it becomes a family. Well, you, you said about beard. I was thinking about John. <laughs> He'll be 33 in August, yeah. and he came when he was like eight. Yeah. But I mean, he's got a, a beard because yeah. he travels, and 
It, you know, he has to work out of town and everything. But you know what? He, that was an investment that you made in his life. He'll never forget that. Praise oh, the Lord. Praise I'll God. never forget Praise it. God. Praise <laughs> the Lord. Praise God. I did love praying that way. I mean, I trusted y'all, but it was just the mom. We understand. Me. Jamie becomes the dorm daddy. <laughs> By the end of the week, he'll have three or four, nine, ten-year-olds laying in the floor in his room because they get homesick. Yeah. Oh. And we let them call home. And, you know, that's if you, you know, we let them call. We start the overnight camp at nine years old because yeah. under that, it gets a little bit too homesick, but uh, we'll call their parents. They have their phones if they need them. So we want them to stay in touch with you. It's just good to have an isolated time where they can be poured into for yeah. three or four or five days, and it impacts their lives. It impacts our lives too. Yeah. And so, in the 33 years, how many how many young people have gone through camp? Well, there've been 20, 25,000 have yeah. come through the camp. Yeah. Conservatively, probably yeah. over 15,000 that indicated they were making a decision for Christ. Yeah. We don't say they all got saved because only God knows the heart. That's right. But 15,000 either raised their hand or came forward and indicating they were coming to Christ. Yeah. If they meant it, they got saved. Yeah. And we mm -hmm. were careful with predicting decisions because we don't want to be like some evangelists accused of just wanting numbers. Well, we yeah. tell you, every one of those young people are special. Right. If yours comes, he's going to be a special number to us. Now, we're talking about the camps, but the daytime that you have, what would be the total of like the daytime? And would you know a total of the salvations even through your daytime? Well, that was the entire camp oh, that thrown was. all together yeah. there. Okay. Oh, yeah. Probably in 25,000 kids, probably 10,000 of them, but in overnight campers. Wow. Probably another seven or 8,000 uh, day campers. And the rest would be half a day, yeah. which more so come to because six to 12, parents aren't gonna let them stay all day or overnight that young. So we, it's a variety, all those numbers are together. I just want to say for me and Wade, from both the bottom of my heart, thank you for doing this. All these years, wait, 33 years, that's a long time. <laughs> that's a Glory long to God. time and Glory lot, to God. a lot of commitment. Uh, and uh, uh, what amazes me is like you were alluding to there, uh, sometimes if you tell a child, well, I'm just going to school to go to class, that's one thing. You kind of have a dread. But if there's something to spark yes. that attention to go, yes. which is the basketball, mm -hmm. then uh, you've got their attention for yeah. so long. Yeah. Yeah. And so what a tool God has given y'all to use. Well, well, the Apostle Paul said in God's Word to use all means necessary to win some. Yeah. So if you're gifted in music, do like the Emory girls and, and their brother Judah, and do it for Jesus. Right. If you're an electrician, right. do it for Jesus. If you're a plumber, plumb for Jesus. If you work at Walmart, do it for Jesus. God is going to put you in a place yeah. to reach people that your pastor could never reach, that an evangelist could never reach. And unfortunately, Gwen and Wade, we've talked about this in the past, 95% of Christians don't share their faith. And that's a tragedy. Mm -hmm. God didn't say, if you want to share, he said, we shall be witnesses. So yeah. whatever you find in your hand, mm -hmm. do it for the Lord. That's yeah. right. That's right. Yeah. And, and we're in the last hour, so now you need to go to the phone, 244-1616. We've got faithful prayer partners. I just mm. want to say thank you so much to our prayer partners for coming wow. so faithfully Monday through Friday. I, I thank you for that. Mm. And Wade's got the request on there, and we're going to be praying over those. So you need to get those in. Go ahead and call right now and get those in. Wade, you got some things down there you want to share? I'd be glad to. Each one of these pieces of paper are important yes, to somebody. Are. And here's one that says, uh, please pray for family salvation and protection mm. uh, on that. A uh, person that's battling cancer, mm. uh, going through a bout there, uh, needs a touch from the Lord. And that's why I want to say this now. That's why these praise reports are important. Because mm. what God's done for you, if you'll share that, there's somebody that may be watching as we read that that is going through the same or similar situation and that will help build their faith that if God did it for you, He can do it for them. Yes, Amen. Yeah. So that praise report is very important. That's right. And that's not, not just call it in and put it on a piece of paper uh, as Randy was talking about then. Jamie, share it. Wow. Share it. Put, the, put your voice to work and tell people the goodness of the Lord and what He's done. Yeah. Uh, here's another one that uh, heart problems uh, with AFib needing a touch. Uh, and here's another one. Here's a family 
uh, that's uh, had things stolen from them and uh, they need God to help them in that situation. Someone, Gwen's a diabetic and a lot of pain in their body. Mm. But you know, we serve a God that can turn every one of these to a praise report. Amen. Every bit of it. So Amen. now we we just wanted to tell you, we, as we get ready to close out the program in a little while, we're going to be praying. Yeah. All of us are going to be praying over your quest. And you know, there's power in agreement. Oh, when yeah. we pray, we agree together, right. believing, believing mm -hmm. for a miracle, believing mm -hmm. for a touch for your finance, believing for a touch in your body, believing for your young people. You know that maybe has gotten on drugs and things. Mm. I, I can't see through that TV. But I can only imagine some of what you're going through. Mm. And just know that you're not alone. That right. Jesus is there with you yeah. to help you, to undergird you. you. He said, "Call upon me, and I yeah. will answer thee, Try. and show you great and mighty things." You don't yeah. ever have to feel like you're alone, cause you're not. I don't care what it is that you go through. He's always. The Bible said yeah. he's ever present. In yes. time of need, never. Yes. And something I hear that uh, your camps and how y'all minister to mm -hmm. the young people, mm -hmm. you know, they're a great ministry within themselves to go mm. back home. Yeah. 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 You know, sometimes the words that comes out of a child's <laughs> mouth yeah. can change you know, the direction of a parent. That's so oh, yeah, I want someone. to share a special testimony. Jamie's sister, Rebecca, was facing cancer this summer and a tumor. And we joined hands mm -hmm. about 180 kids in that mm -hmm. prayer hall, that auditorium that day. Mm -hmm. And we prayed for her. She had a doctor's appointment coming up. It was on Monday. On Wednesday, she got the result back that it had not spread. And those kids went in like that, a ball game, like somebody had slam dunked. Wow. And it just flowed tears down my face. And Jamie was able to record it and show it to his sister. So it was a great oh, encouragement. Oh my That's right. goodness. That's right. Powerful, it gives me chilly prayers bumps. of children. It yeah. runs yeah. all over me. I yeah. just got off a plane yesterday from Denver, Colorado. We have trials and tribulations. I had a procedure on my liver and it's, uh, you're able to live with it, but sometimes we have to do things. I believe God heals instantaneously. Yeah. We're gonna pray right now. He heals through doctor's medication. That's he right. heals through nutrition. And so we're here to pray for you. Call in with those yes, needs right now right. that we Absolutely. can agree with you in prayer. And we covet your continued prayers for us yes, as yes. we're out there that the enemy would continue to touch our bodies and, right. and protect us so we can go and share. And we just thank you for your support, Gwen and Wade yeah. and oh, uh, the yes. TV audience Definitely. here. Thank you so much. Yes. You know, and, and Wade and I, there's things that we have to stand for and believe God for, but he right. always comes through, don't he, Wade? He yeah. does, and he'll yeah. never fail us in any shape, form, or fashion yes. and all. And uh, to contact y'all through your email. Yeah. 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 And our website, crossfireministry.com, yep. crossfireministry.com. Check us out there. You can email Randy, myself. You can register your child, your teenager online. You can pay there. And our number is shown on the screen, 828-255-9111. But if you don't reach out to us, we don't know what you need. Yeah. But mm -hmm. you call us, email us, and we'll be glad to be a part of whatever you have going on in your community. Yeah. And we can preach at your church, your yeah. school, your ball team, your prison, your rescue mission, wherever God opens the door. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And our prayer partners, I put, made sure I put it on the on a script tonight. Yeah. They've got that information back there as well. So Amen. we just want you to be a part. If mm -hmm. you can't. If you can't, don't have children to send, you know what you can do? You can pray for them yeah, and yeah. pray for souls, young right. people to be saved. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it be awesome? We can do that together, mm -hmm. can't we, Wade? And, and we'll, they could even make donations yeah, yes. we have a to scholarship help sponsor program. children. Right. Oh, that's a great idea. We have a, a scholarship idea. program where it's a single parent family that has a legitimate financial need. Yeah. Jamie goes through all those if you call in. We have people that give Amen. so your child could come or your grandchild could come. Yeah, yeah. That is great. Right. Thank you for that. That's yeah. awesome. You know, they don't have to do that, but they do that because they love your young people. That's they right. love the kids. Right. And, and it's, not, it's more than, than just doing it. They've got a heart for it. Yeah. Wait, they've got a heart for those kids. That's they have it. for years. Well, that's what makes the difference, yes. you know, uh, is having that heart, that desire. God put that in you. Amen. And by putting that in you, He has also given you the tools and the ability yeah. to do it. Amen. Amen. Yep. Amen. Glory to God. We're going back to the Emory's. They're going to do a song now. You just worship with them right now. They're going to do Chain Breaker.
the same old road for miles and miles. If you've been hearing the same old voice tell the same old lies. If you're trying to feel the same old holes inside, there's a better life. There's a better life. so good this will not be their last time no. this is just the beginning of them coming mom while you're sitting there at the pen if you could just play something softly maybe amazing grace or something we're going to pray over these requests wow. we just got a couple of minutes and then they're going to close us out tonight their music are going to close us out with i'll fly away but wait if you could pass these down yes. to randy and jamie and a few to myself we just want you to know look here that these are important to us well, well. Nothing's too hard for God. Nope. Here's Melvin, 13, auto accident, fracture in his head, paralysis in his right leg. Right now, in Jesus' name, we just thank you for a, a miracle for Melvin. Yes. Is there anything too hard for God? No. no he nothing. said all things are possible. So we agree together. And there's power in agreement as we pray right now yeah. for Melvin in Jesus' name. Yeah. Thanking you. Thanking you right now for a miracle yeah. in Jesus' name. Gwen, Patsy's I got, got one a, a lady that's having heart surgery. Okay. Mm. 
pray right now. Touch. Father, yes. Yes. we just ask Jesus you to name. guide this surgeon's hands, Father, mm -hmm. Lord, that a good report, Lord, yes. yeah. for yeah. you're in control. You're Jehovah Rapha. Yes. And we can come to you, Father, and we thank you for it in mm. Jesus' name. Yeah. Randy, Jamie. Yeah, I got one here that's dealing with severe spiritual warfare. Uh oh. So, Lord, we, we pray for yes. this spiritual warfare. Yes, we know we our fight is not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers of darkness. And, Lord, we ask that you go and rebuke the devourer, That's right. the yes. powers of darkness from right. this person and any others that are going through warfare, that they would put on the full armor of God, the helmet of salvation, the breastplate yes. of righteousness, yes. the belt of truth, the sandals of peace, the sword of the spirit, the shield of faith. Mm. We just claim total healing Jesus and name. deliverance for this person, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Jamie? One with cancer and one with AFib, and we want to lift them up. Father God, I'm mindful of the Word of God yes. that it says that there are those who walked up to you, the lady that touched the hem of your garment, and she was made whole. Yes. yes. And so, Father mm -hmm. God, we ask that right now these people could touch the hem of your garment, yes. your son, Jesus Christ, and that you would touch the cancer and the AFib, yes. and that you would take care of this. Oh, please, God, take care of this in Jesus' name. Remove this from their bodies. Yes. Give them victory. It might be a testimony yes. of your glory, God, on this program. Many times yes. people have been healed, God. So yes. we pray for healing in Jesus' name. Yes. Yes. We're going to go back now to Emory's. They're going to close this out tonight. We're going to continue praying over your request. So many have come in tonight. We just want you to know they're important to us. And from our Nightline family to you, we love you and thank you for being a part of our Nightline family. Wade, thank you, yes. Jamie, Randy, for coming. It's always we're going to go back and let, we're just going to worship our way out of this program tonight. Amen. Amen.